Hi there. The micro SD card reader, not working lightning, has finally struck my Asus ROG Ally 2, and it has not even been a month since I bought it. It started working badly yesterday with some read errors and ended up not recognizing my micro SD card finally. That SD card worked fine on a switch when I checked to see if it was a SD card error or the card reader error on the Ally itself. Here, the SD card I am using is a brand new one, just to make sure that it is not an issue specific to the SAN disk cards. You can see that couple of files got saved partially, and then, I am not able to delete the file, save new files to the card, and so on. So, the issue is real, and this happened after I updated to the latest BIOS 322. It did not happen immediately. I updated the BIOS a couple of days earlier. The device did not shut down normally yesterday, and although the screen was off, the device itself stayed on and got really heated. When I noticed it a half an hour later, I forced shut down the device, and when I restarted it, the temperature was 95 degrees Celsius. It might well have crossed 100 before I forced shut down the device. It was not even connected to the charger or a dock. The immediate thing I feared was the SD card must have got fried as I have read various reports already. Alas, now I wish that were the case. The card reader itself seems to have gotten fried. I tried all methods including updating the card reader driver, trying different SD cards and trying to format the SD cards itself. Well, None of it worked as you can see my struggles here. It is not possible to format or delete the volume. It is not possible to copy files or delete files. It also shows that it is a fatal hardware error. It does look like a hardware error. That is, the SD card reader itself seems to be at fault as all these micro SD cards have worked on my Nintendo Switch. Asus needs to look into this seriously. Shouldn't the device shut down if temperatures reach such dangerously high levels? It happens on the iPhones, and my old PC used to do that. That is probably the only way to prevent future fried card readers, I guess. Increasing the fan speed via the new BIOS update has obviously not worked as my issue happened after the latest update. I seriously hope Asus does something about it as I love using my ally. I have enjoyed gaming on it, and I'm sure lots of others have similar feelings. But having the SD card reader next to the hottest part of the device without any protection seems like a design flaw. So, I am not even sure if I should give my device for repair. It might just happen again. I am not even sure if a repair is possible in the place where I bought my device. Enough of my disappointed talk. Thank you for watching the video. Please share your experiences and possible solutions and suggestions in the comments section below. Consider liking and sharing the video if you relate to it and found it useful. Please consider subscribing too. See you in the next one.